Hey guys, it's Brant and I'm back today to do a review for the Originals and the Originals 2. Now a lot of people don't know about the Originals 2. I didn't know about it until I started looking into it. And I personally had never actually owned the Originals until uh, a couple months ago when I actually picked up my original copy uh, or my copy of the first press of the Originals. And so what we're going to do is we're going to get into that. Today we're going to talk about the originals and the originals too. First there was Kiss, then hotter than hell, then dressed to kill, the fire, the frenzy, the fantastic rise of the Kiss Army. The three albums that caused a rock revolution are now especially priced in a historic three record set with an exclusive Kiss history book and more. Kiss, the originals, get yours today. The originals was released in 1976. And it was only released in the U.S., Canada, and Japan. And it was released um, between July of 76. In July of 76, it was released in the United States and in Canada. And in Japan, it was actually released in March of 77. It was reissued in the United States, a second printing, uh, in May of 1977. The Originals was a special box set repackaging of the first three studio albums released only in the U.S., Canada, and Japan. It was originally released between the Destroyer and Rock and Roll Over albums. Now what it has is, this is the front cover, and I'm going to put slides up of these as well. This is the front cover. This is the back. And mine's not in the greatest shape, but I have one. Um, I don't have any of the inserts either. It's a gate fold that opens up. And then on the inside, it's got um, it's got the first three albums. I'm gonna pull them all out here. And mine, like I said, are not in the best shape. But these are in like uh, the same kind of paper that a dust cover is in. It's a flimsy paper. It's not thick like an album, like an album cover. But it's the front and the back artwork of the albums. There's a Kiss. And then there's Hotter Than Hell. Front and back. And then Dress to Kill. Front and back. And these are all Casablanca Camel. So you see there it's a Camel on it. Now on the inside of these, I don't have any of the inserts, but on the inside of these there were some pretty cool inserts. In addition to the first three studio albums, it included the Kiss Army sticker, a set of six trading cards, and a 16-page booklet. Some of the things in the booklet is really cool. Uh, it starts off with the cover of the Kiss Rock and Roll Ball with Kiss, uh, at the Hotel Diplomat, uh, Friday the third, Friday July thirteenth. Then you go inside; it just shows some uh, backstage pass things, and then you go to the next page, and it talks about Kiss from nineteen nine, Kiss from nineteen seventy two to nineteen seventy five. Has a picture there, one of the early pictures, um, and then it just basically goes on. The next page talks about Cadillac High. Then the next page also there talks about Cadillac High, has a picture of a crowd. It's weird because it's a crowd and there's somebody back there holding up a poster and there's somebody holding Kiss Kiss Hotter Than Hell. That just, that just seems weird that people would bring albums to concerts. I don't know if that's an early version of Photoshop or what. That just seems weird. And then there's, you know, buttons on the next page. And then page after that, it goes on and shows some more, some ticket stub, some tickets and flyers. This is just basically talks about history of the band. It's kind of cool. If you've never seen this, I recommend pausing as you go along and reading these. I'll put the, you know, with, so you can see these images. Uh, then it's just more history then there's the kissing contest photo then it goes on to talking about the kissing contest 
Shows some photos there. <clears throat> Shows more stuff there. Blue Oyster Cult, Iggy and the Stooges, uh, at the Academy of Music. It shows on shows them at the Orpium Theater there in Boston. Talks about the spring tour, has some stuff there, and then it's the inside back cover, and then the back cover there, and that's about it for the packaging. What was on the inside? The three albums included are the same track listing and recording wise is the same as the original releases. There's no remixing or anything like that. The first printing of 250,000 copies sold out leading to a second printing. Each printing charted. The second printing is allegedly very rare. The first pressing peaked at number 36 and the second pressing peaked at 125 on the US Billboard Top 200 with 17 weeks on the charts collectively between the first and the second charting. It's never been officially certified by the RIAA and is speculated to not have sold more than 500,000 copies, which would make it that it's not even gold. Now that's basically all I really have for the originals. Like I said, it's just kind of a box set um, that was released in the United States, Japan, and Canada. Now, what I want to talk about now is something that I don't own and I want to talk about, so I'm just going to put up screenshots and stuff while I'm talking about it, and that is the Originals 2. The Originals 2 was released in 1978. It was only released in Japan in March of 1978 between the Alive 2 and Double Platinum albums. It was released in Japan one year to the day after the release of the Originals. This was a special repackaging of Destroyer, Rock and Roll Over, and Love Gun. For a long time, fans questioned its existence, and since it is allegedly so rare, it makes it hard and expensive to obtain. The Originals 2 is often considered by KISS vinyl collectors as one of the holy grails in the KISS vinyl collection. It is very difficult, but not impossible to obtain. It is reported that only 50,000 copies were originally pressed. The individual albums are in thin paper dust covers that have the original front and back album art on them just like the originals does. The package does have some nice premium inserts as well as including Japanese styled mask of each member of the band that would have to have been cut out. The packaging also included a booklet like the originals but this booklet only had photos and was only 8 pages compared to the originals 16 pages. It also included a Japanese style lyric booklet and included a biography of the band written in Japanese. Now, this is the front cover of the booklet that was inside of the Originals 2. Photo there from the famous photo from 1977. Um, these images aren't that great. I got them offline and I don't know what the resolution is going to look like. There's no words in this one. Like I said, in the Originals, the Originals. Um, had a bunch of words in it and it was really cool told about the history of kiss and it started and what stuff that happened to them through 75 uh, this is the centerfold it's really nice and then this one here is just more live shots of the band and then that's the back cover um, this here is the front cover of the or this is the front of the lyric thing and I don't have the insides uh, this is uh, Ace's mask that you would have cut out see so cut out and it's got where you put the little rubber band strings there's Gene and see these are definitely done in Japanese stylings there's Paul with his green hair and there's Peter and that is basically everything that came packaged inside of the originals too. Now for your run-of-the-mill KISS fan who doesn't collect vinyl or anything like that, the originals or the originals too are probably not essential items to have in your collection because if you own the originals and the originals too, all you essentially own is the first six studio albums. But if you are a vinyl collector, these become a little more collectible. Um, I think the original first press of the originals 
is a little easier to find. I found this one in a record store. I paid about 10 or 15 bucks for it. The second press, from what I understand, that has catalog number um, NBLP 7032-3 that was reissued in May of 1977. That's the one that's a little bit harder to find, from what I understand. And the originals too, the Japan release only, the Japan only released the originals, the originals too, is extremely difficult to find. And when you do find it, it's expensive. I've heard, I read stories on the internet of it being seven, seven hundred, eight hundred dollars if you find it complete. I hope to have a complete copy of this. Um, I'll probably have to go online and find it somewhere. I found this one in the wild at a record store. So, but um, you know, it's a nice collectible to have. Uh, but it's probably not essential if you're just a regular KISS fan. This is a cool album to have as part of a collection. Uh, I remember this album being out when I was younger. I never owned this album till recently. I didn't even have it in my original KISS collection. Um, so it's a good album to have if you're collecting vinyl. I would, I'm going to keep my eye out for a complete version. I'm also going to keep my, an eye out for that second pressing of this. That'd be really neat to find. But other than that, um, you know, unless you, if you want to collect it, collect it. If you don't, don't. Um, and I guess that'll wrap this up for that. I uh, appreciate you watching. And we're going to have some other videos coming out. So just be sure to keep your eye on this channel and keep coming back. And I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.